Welcome back with us, folks. Tonight we're talking about LMT, Lockheed Martin. The ticker was a swing play that we picked on the 14th, which is two weeks ago, and we closed on Friday. Well, closed the remaining position on Friday on expiration day. And I want to talk about many topics that we have talked about um, before and that apply to this trade. And look at this. And these are news. The other thing is a earning play because they have earnings next week. And the last thing is a breakout. And I may, I may add another thing will be a gap fill. So basically all these things will be covered tonight regarding the play. And I mean, when this happens, when you see this ahead of time, you can uh, anticipate the move. And with news, with the earnings coming up, a breakout and a gap fill, we had a recipe for a trade that will pop. Well, it did pop and we ended up doing pretty well. But I'll show you how to spot these and how to be um, confident with the moves. So let's start with, um, uh, let's cover the news part. Um, right now, the situation, if you are not aware, uh, situation, it, there, there are some tensions between China, mainland China, and, the, uh, and Taiwan. Now, I'm not going to enter any politics. Um, I'm going to be very, uh, try to remain very simplest, uh, to keep it very simple. Uh, Taiwan is an island that is located just outside the mainland China. And right now, the tensions are pretty hard, high between the two. We are aware that China, uh, Taiwan is a an enormous manufacturer of semiconductors and this um, shortage is now hurting a lot of the EV, the um, car industry and uh, it's, it, it, it is appearing to be a little escalating. So um, the US is not taking position, however they sell um, they will sell arms, uh, guns, and other supplies to the Taiwanese, and it's been like this for a while. So the high, uh, rising tension is on the news side. Uh, the news are earnings coming up next week. So basically, we were two weeks ahead, um, moving into this um, this earnings season, high earnings season. We are hitting an area where earnings we can anticipate a move to the upside now the breakout i'll get back to this which is this black line that you see right here is a price level line that is already in the chart and i'll show you afterwards and the gap fill um, if you don't mind i'll get rid of everything here so you can see it clearly the gap fill was basically the gap that would fill above this and that there is nothing in between so we're looking for an area where we have nobody um, i've showed you this before basically we're going up the stairs with nobody coming down the stairs in the way selling so basically it's going up with no resistance um, so let's get back to the uh, so this is the gap fill situation let's get back to the price level which is the black line here and the breakout above what we are looking at. So look at this black line. Where does it come from? Why is it there? And how did this come alerted in the play? And I'll show you exactly. And I'll move back. I mean, I don't mean months, years. Look, this is the day chart, right? I'll move back to a long time ago. And why is this in my chart? And I'll show you exactly why. This is where 
it all happened. In 2018, you see this. We have a top, another top, and again. So what happens is we have buyers that are really willing to take the risk up to this point where they start selling. Same thing here, they start selling. Same thing there. As soon as we reach this line, there's something about this line. Something about this line that it makes it, you know, very strong resistance. Now you can tell, you, you will eventually see that once we break this line, it will, and what, this is what we're expecting, it will act as new support. Now let's move this closer to where we are and we will see. So basically this line, let me back up a bit. Basically this line, you put it, you put it in your chart and it's a price level. It's a price level that you know something will happen. So you put the line, what I do is I, I just hit the um, uh, price level line and price level is set, you see 362.22. Uh, you know, it's a $300 stock, so it's, it can be uh, plus or minus a few pennies, but close enough to that. And then, oh, it broke above in this area, I had to consolidate, and then it broke above. Look what happened. Now, as it broke above, it came down to this point right on support. So we know it's support. It went to all time high. It came down to where? Same line, right? And then broke bearish. Now this is uh, early 20, uh, 2020, uh, COVID after March. See when this bounce happened, we went to where? Same thing, same line. And then after that, uh, we broke bearish just under it a little bit. Here we had consolidation, broke under it. But the fact of the matter is, it's an important line that you need to follow. And this is closer to where we are right now. And basically, let me zoom in. This is the daily chart. See? We broke right under. We were right under the, the line maybe a little tiny bit above a tiny bit above and rejected the line so what we're seeing is this guy and this guy are now the new resistance on the way up because our line was precise and they have moved the line just a little bit higher see they poked their heads just a tiny bit above it so now this is the line, right? I still like the black line. You see why? Because, you know, where it has a history. But twice now we've hit this line a little above. However, there is a gap. And let me put this in a darker blue. This is the gap that we're looking at. This eventually will get filled quickly. So, how to trade this is this i have i set an alert on the black line as we're going up i also set an alert on this top here when we hit the top it will trigger why because it will do either thing either we break above it and then we move away from it or we we're going to reject it you saw it in the in the previous example where I showed you the third rejection of the line. It could have been this, the, and then here we could have hit it and then reject it to the way down. However, in order to add to our our trade and lab analysis, we have the um, Taiwan situation, which is one thing. We have second thing earnings coming up which can be bullish and we have the gap fill the possible gap fill above if we start breaking above so to me this was basically a no-brainer to get in the trade and we got in 
if you don't mind I'll show you on the hour chart let's move out of here and shift to the one hour chart we got in on the 14th uh, this is what it looked like basically you see that um, it was alerted right here we uh, in my chart it was alerted as it crossed the the black line and then this was the look that it took and at the end of the day this is when we alerted the 325s uh, 365 sorry for um, uh, the uh, the LMT play now the next day you see that we were green on the play right away it acted as support the line that we had and then we started moving up same thing again on monday see this black line acting as support and we started moving up now along the way as we moved towards our target the first target was the gap to fill and as soon as we filled the gap here was the the gap that i showed you before we took partial exit and then we kept on moving to the upside and we eventually sold on Friday, not at the top. We sold a little before the top, but the entry was on the Thursday, the 14th, 365 calls for 297. And we ended up selling the remaining position at a flat 11 uh, so this is a very profitable trade that we had picked because we have the uh, many of our um, recipes that work for us that were in line so the gap fill possible on the upside the earnings coming up the um, breakout of a long time support or resistance line and if you're asking why we didn't pick the earning week expiration which is next week well the premiums would have been a lot higher because of implied volatility so um per playing the ramp up was the play and it ended up being a very profitable play so I hope you guys are learning to add a few things to uh, your toolbox and to juggle with all these tools together as you all saw that we we are uh, joining many of the tools that we have played before together in one trade that ends up being um, very profitable so again thanks for watching and I will see you soon